this one better. Hello, everybody. Hi, everyone. So we, I don't know if you know this, but we're, we've been meeting up. We're at the meetup. We're, we're at, at the, the comfy, meet trusty meetup. Yeah. And uh, we, of course, we're supposed to be garage sailing and broke the rules. I'm changing my purse currently. <laughs> so we went to Goodwill. Goodwill was calling. Goodwill. Nobody says no to Goodwill, okay? You know that. No. So we went to Goodwill. Clearly, we've been busy. Yeah, we've got some stuff. <laughs> so now we are going to the Deja Vu shop warehouse i believe so i gotta take the tag off of this or i'm gonna look a little trashy walking around with this purse on sure um paid, uh, five bucks for it by the way. oh nice yeah we are of course late why wouldn't we be i mean Please, have you met us? we're not hosting oh <laughs> we're not so the host it's fine <laughs> so we'll go see what we find i'll uh i'll do some filming in there and I might do a little bit of ASMR as a nod Ooh. to Jay from Dallas City Vintage. Or, yeah, yeah Dallas, Dallas City Vintage. Vintage. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. All right, here we go. Goodbye. Okay, well, sure. Nine to one on Saturday. Okay. You know she did. Because <laughs> I was like, that's my kind of purse that you're doing. You I know, isn't that cute? Is that the one we went to? Yes. So yes. Like that's, that's a great one. It is a good gift. That's, that's that was big. big. That's the How far away is it? Not far. Um, Corey and I were saying since we got here a little earlier, Harry did your pick. Well, we might drive to the next place, leave a car, and then go to a good one. Oh, that's yeah. a good idea. Good idea. Yeah, there's one. It's, it's like 10 minutes, maybe? Yeah, I was going to say. It's probably, oh, yeah. Yeah, 10, 15 minutes. There's another one if you take the interstate. That one's hit or miss. But the one that if you guys went to the one of the tables. Yeah, it's nice. And they were just putting new stuff out. Yeah, guys. yeah they're, they're pretty good at restocking, and they they reasonable prices. Their prices are going up, but they're still pretty reasonable. Yeah, they were, I didn't think they were bad. Yeah, they were, so we went to another one on the way in, mm -hmm. and their prices were a little lower than that one, but it was pretty pretty much the same. One of the best ones is in Ottawa. Oh. I thought you were going to hang No, I did not. I thought you were going to say Canada. I have not been there yet. I like those bins, but not like the bins in Rockford. I've never been to the one I've been to. Rockford, I thought those were crappy. But I, I mean, after going to, um... But the bins are not my thing. Bedford and, um, Bedford. I struggle with the bins, too. I'm just gonna say that Milwaukee and Goodwill's are awesome. Our, our Goodwills in Des Moines are, they're hit and miss. Some days it's great, some days it's, what's the point? We do. Right. <laughs> Mom, are you trying to distract me with the music boxes? Because that's rude. Oh, great. Oh, Morano. Nice. Look at you. Oh, cute. Good job, Corey. Hang on, Corey. I'm recording. Oh, Stella. And it's my favorite color. Oh, cute. Good guess. Yes. I like it. You get the award. What's your name? I guess that's it. You got to do that minimal. Gotcha. Nice to meet you. That's kind of cute. Oh, these are cool. All right, you guys, I'm going up and possibly out soon. Okay. So we'll see you at the next one. 
Yeah, so one o'clock is the yeah. uh, the vintage marketplace. That's the one that the parking lot's very busy with, and it's got the food truck there. Okay. Yes. I think... Can we go upstairs? I'll go with you. I'm, I've got what I want. Okay. Patrick, we're going to go upstairs and look at uh, okay. some stuff and then head out, okay? Okay. We'll see you soon. Oh, did you look at the kid books? Did you want to Yeah, I did. Okay. I get this because um, it's Majolica. Oh. And I have a little plate to match it. How are we going with this? The Roaring Twenties. You know, I just get it. Because... It's got it's Corey. Well, this Thomas Kincaid stuff so helpful. Oh, it does? Yeah. Right. Ooh. I'm not kidding you. Oh, oh my God. <gasps> got a corner to the thigh. Uh. Ooh. Okay, just power through. Holy crap, ow! <laughs> uh -oh. I don't see anything I need. You know? Oh, I'm so sorry. I think this is just fabric. Yeah, it is. Everyone, wave hi. I haven't seen Jack. Yeah. Since one of the this, stars, we go fast. Oh, really? This well, is cute. I, I know. Like, I, I love these. I either contact information. I'll leave an email. And I checked. Thank you, dear. You have a great day. She has a schedule. Oh, Who? We're Cindy. Jackie. Oh. Oh, she is? Well, so where are you guys going to go then? I didn't say so. I don't know. <laughs> where do you think we're going after this, Mom? <laughs> Maybe another you know? Goodwill or? I, I don't know. From here, there's another Goodwill, and uh, uh, we're going to go to the one in Batavia. You guys just went awesome. Yeah. There's a lot of cool yeah. stuff. Okay. Okay. Okay, well, we'll just see you guys all at 1 o'clock. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, good. Oh, there's our girl. Michelle, where are you guys heading? I'm going to take I'll probably meet you guys up there. We'll miss you. Okay, so this was um, Patrick's store that he has a booth at, and we got to go in there. The whole store was 15% off, which was really cool. Um, a lot of this stuff, I think they were resellers like us. You know, they went out and sourced really cool vintage stuff and put it in their booths, but it was priced the same way that we would price it so it was more of a store you know to for for collectors um i bought a couple things for myself to resell um and then another couple things for myself to keep so um it wasn't exactly like a good place for us to like go sourcing but it was a really cool place for us to go and like get stuff for ourselves which was fun um i'm i can't remember if mom got anything but i know i did um i thought it was cool to see too um it was like a fun inspiration of like ways to decorate and ways to um you know like label stuff or what am i trying to say like um, like, um, show stuff, you know, like to set stuff up for selling. Sorry, I'm distracted because I'm also watching the video while I do this and I'm like, oh, these are so cute. Oh, that was so cute. That is so cute. See, other people appreciate music boxes just like I do. <laughs> Let's see. <clears throat> Mm 
lots of really pretty fall stuff like they were definitely set up for fall that looked like that was like maybe a hager base up there i missed it oh pretty 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 brooch oh i think i realized i was in the wrong camera setting <laughs> oh look at that little happy turtle looks a little possessed his eyes were red if you look and see what i'm pointing at it's licky cat's distant cousin maybe werewolf mug licky werewolf i think he's probably a cat he's pretty cute this is where i went off from mom because i can't shop next to her because she'll just step in front of me and get what i want <laughs> oh there's some pretty amber settings that's beautiful i think those were cream and sugars too expensive for me though that's okay you can keep them beautiful oh I loved this book but I couldn't find a price on it so I just left it the tin man of Oz I think is what it was the binding was in a little bit of rough shape but that's okay it was really cute it didn't have like super graphic pictures in it or anything so I just left it um, but it was cute the kids would have loved to read it I just <laughs> it looks like it was killing him <laughs> oh man oh look at her beautiful dress Ooh. the tin woodman of Oz I think is what it said dang it she caught up to me oh Halloween always speaks to my heart new or old doesn't matter in fact, I picked up a lot of Halloween-y stuff um, while we were out and about, so you guys will get to see that pretty soon. I can't resist a good mask. I didn't see any Cubs ones, though, so I didn't grab it. <laughs> Why am I following her? That's the dumbest thing. Because I know if there's something super cute, she's going to get it before I do. She's a little trickster that way. Oh, oh, she was showing me. So somebody did something really cute. And this is something you guys could do at home. Um, somebody took some little votives. And then they took either brooches or clip-on earrings. And they put them on these like little pieces that, you know, like we have dishes like this sometimes. And then mom has brooches sometimes too. So what you could do if you're looking for like cute fall decorations is you can... Um, either glue them on or clip them on um, whatever whatever they are however they work and you've got these like cute unique little decorations isn't that cute it'd also be really cute for weddings or a wedding shower um, especially at like reception tables super super cute so now we're heading downstairs because of course I didn't realize there was a downstairs um, until mom's like yeah let's go and I would imagine some other people didn't know either, which is a little bit funny. But yeah, I don't know. At this point, I was like super overwhelmed because it's amazing down there. There's so many beautiful, beautiful things. And I just kept thinking it's like, it's basically like a vintage, you know, Target. <laughs> so cute. Oh, this was darling. It's a, a pig teapot. And I thought the Brinkley's would like it, but I didn't. I couldn't afford it. Those were so cute. They didn't have them labeled right. They had like orange cream and sugar. I was like, no, sister, those are Amberino. But what do I know? Got to get away from mom. Got to go do my thing. Oh, this is so cute. Look at this little cutie. Um, oh, Sam. <laughs> Am I not going to show it? Oh, I was talking to Mom. Sorry. Oh, I totally missed that teapot. Look how cute he is. That would be so darling for a little boy's room. It was just a little, you know, cruel. It's cute. Halloween, Halloween. Look at that little skull, little skull man. 
this little vase caught my eye and I thought it was beautiful this little bud vase and I pick it up because of course I don't <laughs> want to break anything so I pick it up carefully and it's footed isn't that cool but as I'm looking I notice it's got some breaks of those leaves which was a total bummer because I loved that I thought that was super pretty and then I'm starting to learn more about Delft because I have a friend who you guys know as Paige Hillebrand um, you might have seen her in the live sales, but I know that um, <clears throat> her sibling, Briar, really likes Delft. So I try to keep an eye out for that stuff. But I'm trying to learn more about it, trying to learn like what's valuable, what's just, you know, really common. Um, so if you have any Delft advice, please let me know. I'd love to learn some more about it. And actually, if you guys have anything that you're like wanting to if you feel like i've said too much hi in the mirror <laughs> um if i've said something like that isn't correct or that you feel like i should know more about please don't hesitate to tell me um as much as you know oh that was so cool i loved that i loved that so much um it's like a little scene of a a woman dancing in a Hispanic man like playing the guitar is super cool um, Anyway, if you guys feel like you know something don't hesitate to tell me because I am always trying to learn the whole point of thrift you I uh, I'm just a baby in this. I'm just learning and I just want to try to find things that you guys really love Look at that cool old phone Look how pretty that is It's very like uh like that gold I'm starting to love. <clears throat> Lots of jewelry. Okay, baby, that's okay. Why don't you go play? With a little guest appearance from Francis. I think this is Patrick's booth, which is super funny because I didn't know it was Patrick's booth until <laughs> I asked him. And I wish I would have... I don't know. We're going to see if... um. <laughs> if I hold the phone up right but there is a giant sign that says trusty huckster that really should have been a dead giveaway <laughs> I should have known this stuff was Patrick's too because he just has a lot of really cool stuff in here like a lot of stuff that um, like I, I would definitely pick up a lot of that stuff like that Ooh, that pretty vase back there um, the one in the back on the right Ooh, that one was gorgeous it was like pink that faded into orange I loved that one and there's, he's got like good descriptions of what um, everything is. Oh, Patrick, I bought that from your booth. <laughs> so I bought this. Hang on, I'll show you. There we go. This little um, daisy jar, which, and he was like, are you gonna, I told him I got it and I didn't realize it was his booth until I talked to him later when he got there. Um, oh yeah, surprise, surprise. We got here before everybody because we accidentally ditched Patrick sorry Patrick <laughs> um, but yeah oh I thought these were really cool these I think it's Ciroc of Monterey is that how you say it Ciroc hopefully that's how you say it those plates are really cool I think mom had one recently uh, maybe an owl or something um, but yeah yeah so he's got those fun um, like informational plaques over there you know to kind of show you what things are and um, where they came from. I, I like the history of, of doing this. I love finding out the history of like where things came from, who might have used them, um, and all of that. So, yeah. Okay, so then I moved on, moved forward, and I thought this little goblet guy was super cute. Amber glass, or not amber glass, carnival glass, of course. Pretty beautiful. It also sounds like everyone is awake from nap now, so we might have some fun interruptions. Hi, Lou. <laughs> Hi, girl. Yeah, I'm doing a voiceover for a video. Well, oh, Mommy. if you guys want to watch, come here. Mommy. Hi, beautiful. Look, there's a the cute little turtle. Hi, everyone. He is a candle. He was Hello. cute. I'm going back through videos that we did this weekend while I was missing you. Hi, Pete. Girl, scary monster. Yeah, and I'm just talking over it because I can't put it up on YouTube because it has music in it. 
Oh, so right now I'm looking at this little Ouija board, um, little tray that I've been looking everywhere for something like this, but it was a little out of my price range. Um, I thought it was really cool. Nice. I love that Ouija board stuff. I'll help you in just a minute. Now I'm putting everything back, so because their display was pretty. Hopefully, I got it right. We're gonna find out. That looks better. There we go. Oh yeah, that picture was gorgeous. Let's see what else. Oh, I loved that. I would have got that for myself, but I already had my eye on another mushroom thing so I, I oh look how cool that is I don't I don't know what you call that kind of like art but it was like foil kind of on black backing I don't really there's a word for it I just don't know it let's go check out what's over here oh look this was like cute it's like a little school setting isn't that cute Cute thermos. I loved this because my sister's name is Brittany and she like loves the whole bee thing. So that's really cute. You know, someday I think I'm gonna try to be better at um you know like thrift with me videoing. <laughs> oh, elephants. Those are really cool. So I think they weren't uh, like cheap enough for me to be able to resell them to you guys, but I thought they were really cool and like unique. They're not, you know, like typical elephants you see. So if you see those, or if I see those, um, you know, like that, I will make sure I will try and get them for you guys because they're really unique and they're really cute. It was also funny because I could not figure out how to open and close this guy, like with my camera, my phone. <laughs> see, I'm like trying to do it with one hand. <laughs> I was going to cut this part, but I thought it was funny. <laughs> How are you people doing these thrift with me videos? Like, do you use a GoPro? Do you like have it strapped to you? I don't, I don't get it. <laughs> Hang in there with me. The sign is super cool. I thought this like little area was really cute. I love how many hutches are in this place. They're just a good vessel for decoration. Oh, look at this little Halloween-y snow baby. He's so freaking cute. I'm not bossy. I just have better ideas. I almost got that for my mom. Because, man. Man, does that describe her. <laughs> oh, oh, some fancy camera work. Oh, do you see what I'm going for? You might see it. And I bought these puppies. And these are for me. They are not for resale. <laughs> Maybe I'll resell them, you know, like someday when I'm done loving them. But <sighs> as it sits now, they are for me. But don't worry, y'all. I am uh, I am looking. I am looking high and low for mushroom beauties for all of you. Oh, look at that fat cat. I loved that. <laughs> yeah there was a lot of really cool stuff in here and I just I wish I could have chatted with all of the booth owners so that I could find out where they got their stuff and pick their brains and those little canisters were so so cool some vases I love that lamp lamps like that always remind me of Mary Poppins Oh, some more excellent camera work. <laughs> I have a whole collection of these guys at my house. My mom started me on this Mexican pottery collection, and she also found a ton of those guys. I love them. They're handmade in Mexico. Of course, what am I doing, Sam? I'm pointing at a wall. But <laughs> they're, like, handmade, and they're amazing. They're, like, made out of paper. Oh, I thought that was pretty, but the... um like design on it it was like 
I know it's not a sticker, but it looked like a sticker. That's what it kind of reminded me of. I also thought those gold cream and sugars were so fancy, and I thought somebody would really love them. Um, they were worth all the money that they were being charged for. I just, I, I don't typically put fancy things in my house that can break because I have a kitten, I have three dogs, and I have three kids, and I have a clumsy husband. So, <laughs> fancy things should not go to my house to die. That is what will happen to them. <laughs> oh, I thought this was so cool. Okay, not only is that cool for fall, that's cool for any time. It was like a like a really cute train, like an old vintage train scene, um, like just the way trains used to be on the streets. It was beautifully done. I think it was acrylic. Oh yeah, that little pig caught my eye in there. Here I am, gonna mess up another display. Awesome, way to go. <laughs> Yeah, it's one of those stone, like I've, I sold some of those stone elephants and it was a little stone pig. I thought he was really cute. What a cutie. I don't think I put this back the way I found it. Oh, she's darling. I need to get better about, yes, showing it <laughs> more. So the thing about this place was that, like, you could turn 20,000 different ways when you come to this place. So I was looking around, trying to find where I wanted to go. These glasses are beautiful. And now I can't remember what they were called. You will know. I will probably know if I can think of it. Um, but I thought they were just really pretty the way they, like, faded. They were super pretty. Those cards were so cool. They're vintage postcards that people actually sent. Which, you know, if you're looking at the in the right places, you can find those. And people love those to, like, decorate with or, um, you know, use in their own businesses. Like, if they create jewelry in Etsy or anything else in Etsy, you know, they're fun to, like, stick earrings in. All that stuff looked kind of Delft-y to me, but it wasn't Delft. It was too new to be delfty. So there's some more of those like fadey glasses and god daggummit, I wish I could remember what it was called. Ugh, it's making me mad now. Also, for the people who like Ray Dunn, I did not realize that they had that like, it's not quite cursive writing, but it's like a little bit fancier, I guess. I thought those were kind of cute. They were all over that store though, so they must be popular. I just haven't seen them. Cute Halloweenies. And I also, I love that they're making these um, decorations and pillows that are not, you know, they look vintage-y, but I'm showing mom my stuff. <laughs> um, <clears throat> they look vintage-y, but they're not. You know, they're not vintage. They just have, like, those graphics, which is pretty much what I love about thrifting and all that stuff. I love the graphics. I love the art. I love when you can just look at something and tell it's old. Oh, she's telling me that there's 15% off. <laughs> she's getting very close to me. Six feet apart, sister girl. Man. <laughs> oh no, she was taking my stuff upstairs for me. Okay, never mind. Take all that back. <laughs> I think this is the end of this trip. I believe. Let's find out. Yes, it is. So let's head to the next place. Here we go. I think we're going to. Yes, we're going to. Um, I think it was Deja Vu something next see you there so this place was also super cool pretty um similar like prices and style to patrick's cool place that we went to um 
these were so cute because so my mom before she had um pancreatitis her favorite thing to drink was baileys um i honestly i should have just bought them for myself but they were a boy and the girl and they were baileys little cups they were so cute um but yeah this place it's it was just out of my price range um like as far as reselling goes because as you guys know i don't sell very much on ebay i sell stuff that i think you guys might like this was a little occupied japan guy he was cute he had both his buckets and it looked like his buckets stayed still like they didn't come up so um but yeah this stuff was just out of my out of my price range for um, my business but i bet a lot of people come in here and this would actually be a really cool place to like come in and buy stuff to stage a home or to even like if you were a realtor you could go in and buy really cute stuff like as a whole a housewarming gift and leave it in the house it's like an urn <laughs> that's cool lots of candles i always want to smell because i'm a scentsy girl and I'm addicted to smells. This was kind of a cute little display of tchotchkes. Pretty cute. Look at that cute, beautiful brass elephant. Beautiful. Little squirrely little owls. Those were salt and peppers, I believe. If I remember correctly. There was that mushroom painting down there that I missed, but... I can almost guarantee you I would not have been able to afford it. <laughs> These were fun. These are a fun thing you, like you can do at home as a craft. Um, you can take really any bottle. You can spray paint um, the inside. If it's a glass, you can spray paint that white. And then you can, you can make any kind of your own labels you want at home um, and throw those on a bottle. You can paint it or whatever your, you know, your skill set allows for. But that would be a lot of fun. And a real cheap way to to do, you know, fun Halloween stuff. Because you're obviously, like, we all know that there's vintage halloween -y stuff. I thought that was cute. It had a lid on it, too. Um, I just was looking for the maker. But we all know that there's vintage Halloween stuff. Um, and that it's really, really hard to find. Um, I actually, at some of the Goodwills we went to, I picked up some cute like relatively modern Halloween stuff I mean probably latest it would have been was like 80s and 90s um, which I guess is technically vintage but um, like truly 60s 70s even really 80s Halloween stuff is gonna be so tough to find um, just mainly because it wasn't as you know big then I guess this is cute. I love that color. That kind of like light. It's not, I, I, I feel like seafoam green is so over um, placed on things kind of that color, but I don't feel like that's seafoam green. Oh, that's that pretty silver crest that I have. I bet that's Fenton. I'm not sure if it is, but I bet it is. Um, I thought that was pretty, just the the um, style of that the design of that was pretty look at all this green I love those canisters right there oh there's some uranium Christy Garza you uranium fool those canisters were super cute I really like like those old canisters like that I have some um, but, oh there's our guy Patrick there he is. <laughs> I can't turn the sound on because the music was too loud, but I'm pretty sure we were chatting about, you know, all of us living the same things. I think Patrick was pointing out to us some really cool stuff that um, he thought we might like, which was nice of him. Oh, that Patrick. Our guy. <laughs> to everyone wondering how it went with 
Sarah and Patrick. It went swell. He was very mad at us because we ditched him. Um, he went to a Goodwill and we were supposed to meet him and we got distracted and went to his, you know, grand reopening of the, the store he's at. Um, <laughs> so I, I felt really bad about that. Um, and poor Patrick was there by himself, you know, shopping all by himself on a thrift or on a meetup. I, fe I felt terrible, but hopefully he still loves us. <laughs> he was a lot of fun. Well, 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 some more Halloween stuff. This is my favorite time of year. So, oh, look at all of that stuff. This is what I want my house to look like. But spookier. I mean, I do love me some good... That said baby ghost on it, which I thought was both sad and cute. <laughs> but, um, yeah. This is what I want my house to look like. But scarier. I love a good old, you know, fr family-friendly Christmas. But I also love some spooky stuff. I also love Dia de los Muertos stuff. Um... I, you know, I love the spooky. What can I say? Just a spooky gal. What do we see? Must not have seen anything in there I wanted. What do I have here? What is this? Hager. Sam, good showing. Oh, it's an owl bank and his eye is the, is the bank. I thought that was seriously cute. I loved that so much. Those are some little Delft people. I think the tag said like Delft style or Delft-ish or something. I thought the description on that one was funny. I remember that. There's some little, little pups and I know someone has been asking us to find Pomeranian dogs. So I was specifically looking for Pomeranian dogs, and I did not find any, unfortunately. But that's okay. I'm, I'm sure I will find some soon. She is so freaking cute. I have got to start collecting these little kid figurines for myself. Because I always find them, and I'm always drawn to them, and I love them. They don't even have to be Hummels, you know. They can be just little knockoffs. I don't even care. I don't care. They're just precious. There's Mom coming up in all my space. There's Michelle, our girl. Comfy Cozy Living. What's up? Another pup. That one was like a weirder pup, but I liked this little cutie. Those poor girls who... You saw, like, the bottom half of them. They must have thought I was following them. And I probably looked like a giant creeper because I had my, my phone recording. Sorry. <laughs> thought that guy was a little funky. It's pretty fun. I loved that, that buffet there with that green on the bottom. These were beautiful. And they kind of go with that, um, that set... I had sold that mid-century set, that Libby set of like, it was like a cream and a sugar and some pitcher of some type. We're not 100% sure what it was, but those look like they might have gone with it. I don't think they were Libby though. They might have been. I probably didn't check close enough. <clears throat> There's our girl. Again. Anything over here I want? Nope. Nope, nope. More nope. There's Crafty Jackie. Hi, Crafty Jackie. She and her husband had us all laughing the entire time. What a hoot. Two little sillies. Oh, look at all these cool canisters. And looks like thermoses and coolers. He was so cute. Look at him. So you've seen those um, bigger guys, but he's a he's a little rooster. And I'm pretty sure that said owl, but 
but he has like a like a gobble you know like the thing under his chin pretty sure that was a rooster but you know it wasn't my thing to sell so I guess I don't get to say but I should say oh that little planter was like it was like eighteen dollars and that's you know even a little bit more than I would probably sell it to you guys so I didn't pick these guys up I thought they were really cool though really cute um, so you know if you're an animal planter person head on over to Aurora Illinois because it's at the deja vu ever since I've got my ears pierced I always stop at the earrings and see if there's anything I like <laughs> oh man I told you guys I was a smelly lover. I could smell this stuff clear across the store. It was like pumpkin, apple, something or other, potpourri. It was, ugh, smelled so good. I just mixed it around to, you know, give smells to the other people coming by. <coughs> oh, I thought that vase was kind of pretty. I think this was like a little sale area. like. Because that was on, like, I think it was like half price. I thought it was pretty, but I just, I knew that that wasn't really what I was looking for, but I know somebody else would have been looking for it. I wondered if these guys um, maybe were, like, part of the same set. I don't know if my glasses were dirty. They're clearly not. Um, <laughs> but, like, I can see that just looking at them now, but... Those were pretty, that was a pretty little jar there. I thought that was beautiful. Oh yeah, the tops of those were gorgeous. Well, I'm starting to wonder, I think we might be getting towards the end here. So I will mention a couple things. Um, number one, we are going to try to, um, maybe do a little haul tomorrow. Um, so it may be posted Tuesday. It might be posted Wednesday. Um, I have my live sale on, uh, Wednesday at 8 p.m. Central Time. So that's 9 Eastern Time and 7 Mountain Time and 6 Pacific time. Um, I think that we will have a lot of fun stuff up. We'll definitely have a lot of fall stuff up. We will definitely have, I'll, I'll have some, uh, I'll try to put some Halloween stuff in there for you guys. Um, it, it's definitely not all vintage. Some of it's modern, um, but it's definitely all stuff that I think you guys will like. Um, I bought all of the stuff with you guys in mind. I always do. I always think of you guys um, when I'm buying. I think of stuff that I think you guys might be looking for or you might be wanting for the season. Um, and I just want you guys to know how much I greatly, greatly appreciate you and your business. Um, I know mom does too. And not only that, but just how much you guys support us and just watch us and enjoy us and share your lives with us too, you know. Um, we just, we really appreciate that. And we, we really love doing this because, um, you know, not only are we like, we're getting to have our business be this, you know, like this is how we're making our money and this is how I support, um, my family along with my husband and this is how my mom pays her bills, but it, it's also just, a whole new community and something to be a part of and um we just we just love you guys so we appreciate you we couldn't appreciate you more and we love sharing this with you guys um i think that's that thanks for watching and i hope you had as much fun as we did um we did lots of other fun stuff we went to karaoke um, we went to dinner, we went to lunch, we, um, you know, we just had a fun time. Mom and I got to drive, you know, four and a half hours and chit chat, you know, the whole time. God, we should have recorded that. 
but <laughs> we had, we had a great time and uh, we just really appreciate Patrick and from trusty huckster mercantile and Michelle from comfy cozy living for hanging out with us and hosting and it was a ton of fun so I don't know if you guys saw our last live but we will um, be updating you more on our little pick and party situation we have going on stay tuned we will update you as we have more information for you um hopefully we'll see you guys tomorrow and uh thanks for watching make sure you like comment and subscribe pretty please thanks bye